bull mask is one of the most useful nodes which we frequently use in dynamo in this video we are going to see bull mask node and its use and before that if you visit our channel you will find there are already so many videos on revit and dynamo you will find separate playlist for dynamo python scripting dynamo for beginner revit tips and tricks revit family and revit tutorial so please subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that you will not miss any update from this channel in future so let's talk about bull mask and go to the dynamo we are creating a new file now you will find this bull mask node under list so just go to the list and go to modify and here in action you will find filter by bull mask here you will see there are two input and there are two output so in input there is a list and in output there is a mask which is nothing but list of boolean values boolean means nothing but true and false values suppose we are checking a condition and after passing a condition there you will get some true value which is basically satisfying the condition and some false value which is not satisfying the condition so you can input these true values and false values here in this mask so let's go to the model here this is our model here you will find so many elements or different categories so let's consider all these lighting fixture you will find there are so many lightings and i'm separating these three lights by providing a comment suppose i am providing comment a here now we will filter out this lighting using filter by bull box in dynamo let's see how just go to dynamo again go to dynamo here you will need few nodes first node you will need family type which you will find under evidence selection so let's see just go to revit and go to selection and here family type we will need this uh, node also that is all element of the family type so let's see what was our family name just go to the model once again yeah family name is uh, m pendant light 100 watt 277 volt okay let's go to the dynamo and just select this light m pendant light m pendant light this one now just connect this node to this and here you will see there are 65 elements so now we will need one node that is get parameter value by name so just type here get parameter value by name and here just and here connect this to this and we we'll need a string here just search string now here we have to provide the name of the parameter that is comments now connect comments to parameter name i'm just turning off this automatic to manual now if we see here uh, here you will see in comment maximum are blank only these three are a now we have to filter it out using bull mask so let's see again we will need two nodes that is a conditional operator that is equal to uh, this one second one now just connect x and here just copying this and just changing this to a here we are filtering all the elements which have comments a just run and check see all blank comments are false and you will find 3 2 here see 
now we have to use this filter by bull mask for this list we are going to connect element to list and for this mask we are connecting bull and mask and here the name satisfied bull and mask just run again and see so in this in we are getting all the elements which have comments a and these three elements and in out we are getting all the elements which have blank comment or nothing we can also verify this uh, just zoom it and go to the model we will verify this elements id so let's go to the model i'm just selecting those three elements and going to manage and here ids of selection so you can see the same ids are here so this is how we can use list filter by bull mask node in dynamo in next video we will see how we can override this element using color and also see another new nodes so if this video is helpful to you please like this video share this video and subscribe to our channel thank you